So welcome students. In this topic, let us look at the condition which ensures that you can divide this expression that is a quadratic expression in two variables into two linear factors. So assume that you have a general quadratic equation in two variables that is x as well as y. So ax square plus 2hxy plus by square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. Now what is the condition which ensures that this expression can be divided into two linear factors? So that is the question that we are dealing with. So this question becomes important in coordinate geometry. So in coordinate geometry, this equation represents a general conic section. In coordinate geometry, this equation represents a general conic section. That means it might represent a pair of lines, it might represent a parabola, it might represent an ellipse, it might represent a hyperbola, it might represent a circle. Now what is the condition that this equation represents a pair of lines? That is the question we are dealing with. Because if this expression can be divided into two linear factors, that means the first linear factor is equal to 0 or the second linear factor is equal to 0. So a linear factor in x and y is equal to 0 represents as a line and this also is equal to 0 represents a line. That means if this expression can be divided into two linear factors then this equation represents a pair of lines. Now the question that we are going to deal is what is the condition on the coefficients a h b g f c so that this expression can be factorized into two linear factors. So how do we analyze this? So the analysis looks something like this. Now you have a quadratic equation in two variables x and y. Now let us assume this as a quadratic equation in a single variable. That is ax square plus x times you have an x term here and an x term here. So x times 2hy plus 2g. So ax square term is separate. So I am combining 2hxy and 2gx plus by square plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. So ax square plus x times 2hy plus 2g plus by square plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. So now this looks like a quadratic in the variable x. Now what is the value of x from this equation? x is equal to minus b that is minus of 2 times hy plus g minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac. b square is 4 times hy plus g whole square minus 4 times a times b y square plus 2 f y plus c by 2 times a. So this is the value of x. Now if this can be separated into two linear factors, if this can be separated into two linear factors, that means x should be able to be written as a rational function of y. x should be a rational function of y that is that means there should not be any square roots because if this can be written as some p1x plus q1y plus r1 times p2x plus q2y plus r2 is equal to 0 that means x can be written as minus of q1y plus r1 by p1 
और माइनस ऑफ क्यू टू वाई प्लस आर टू बाई पी टू सो इफ दिस कैन बी फैक्टर इज इन टू टू फैक्टर्स देन आई शुड बी राइट आई शुड बी एबल टू राइट एक्स एस सम रैशनल फंक्शन ऑफ वाई मीन्स दे शुड नॉट बी एनी स्क्वेयर रूट्स सो इफ एक्स शुड बी अ रैशनल फंक्शन ऑफ वाई देन दिस एक्सप्रेशन विच इज इन साइड स्क्वेयर रूट हैज टू बी अ परफेक्ट स्क्वेयर दिस इम्प्लाइज फोर टाइम्स H square y square plus g square plus two h g y, right? Minus a b y square minus two a f y minus a c. If I take four as common, h square y square plus g square plus two h g y minus a b y square minus two a f y. माइनस ए सी शुड बी ए परफेक्ट स्क्वायर सो दिस इंप्लाइज ओके फोर इज ए नंबर इट्स ए परफेक्ट स्क्वायर सो इफ यू सिंप्लीफाई दिस सो हेच स्क्वायर वाई स्क्वायर माइनस ए बी वाई स्क्वायर दैट इज हेच स्क्वायर माइनस ए बी टाइम्स वाई स्क्वायर सो दीज टू टर्म्स हैव बीन टेकन केयर ऑफ नेक्स्ट यू हैव टू टर्म्स कंटेनिंग वाई सो माइनस और प्लस टू वाई टाइम्स एच जी माइनस ए एफ दीज टू टर्म्स हैव बीन टेकन केयर ऑफ प्लस जी स्क्वायर माइनस ए सी हैज टू बी ए परफेक्ट स्क्वायर सो यू कैन वेरी क्लियरली सी दैट दिस इज ए क्वाड्रेटिक इन वाई सो वेन विल ए क्वाड्रेटिक फंक्शन बी ए परफेक्ट स्क्वायर दट इज दिस शुड बी एबल to be written as something square is equal to 0 that means both the roots of this equation have to be same this equation should have a repeated root that means both the roots of this equation have to be equal and that implies the discriminant of this equation has to be equal to 0 so what is the discriminant of this 4 times hg minus af whole square minus 4 times h square minus ab times g square minus ac has to be equal to 0 so this is my final condition which ensures that the discriminant of this is equal to 0 which in turn ensures that this expression is a perfect square which in turn assures you that the square root gets cancelled which in turn assures you that x will be a rational function of y that is some rational powers of y by constant which ensures that you get a linear factorization for this function so now we just need to simplify this condition so this 4 and 4 gets cancelled so you get h square g square plus a square f square minus 2 hg af minus h square g square ma plus ab g square plus ac h square minus a square bc is equal to 0 so h square g square and h square g square gets cancelled so effectively you have you have an a common in all these equations you can just Take one a off, so a f square minus two h g f plus b g square plus c h square minus a b c is equal to zero. So this is the condition which ensures that the quadratic can be divided into two factors. So if you write this expression. in a nice order so let me multiply the whole equation with the minus so the general condition is a b c plus 2 h g f minus a f square minus b g square minus c h square is equal to 0 so this will be the required condition 
and this condition can be nicely written in the form of a determinant. So let us write that condition also. So the condition is that delta is equal to determinant of first write the coefficients of terms containing x. So you have an a, you have a h, don't write 2h, just write h and g. So these are the coefficients of the terms containing x. Next write the coefficients corresponding to the terms containing y. So you have a h, you have a b, you have an f. And then write, write the last three coefficients g, f, c. So this is equal to 0 is the required condition. So if you expand this determinant, you get exactly the same condition. So you know how to expand this determinant, right? A times BC minus F square minus H times HC minus GF plus G times HF minus BG is equal to 0. So A, B, C, F, G, H plus F, G, H plus 2 F, G, H minus a f square minus b g square minus c h square is equal to 0. So this is the condition which ensures that this equation represents a pair of lines. Thank you.